The idea was really to share our own fullness, our own experience of making life heal whole and complete. It's for more people to realize that we're connected in all ways and it's to create more compassion in people because I think living in a place like Manila, which is one of the most densely populated cities in the world, we get hardened by our realities. So this is about softening that and being in a position to make choices, our everyday choices. If we all made like little changes and little shifts in how we live every day, it would really have such a huge impact. My reality is that I live in a very polluted city, a very overpopulated city. We're confronted today with global issues. Climate change, there's food security, and there's also how are we going to power ourselves for the rest of the time we're here. Even with Western and advanced medicine, we are sicker now more than ever. What can we actually do in our lives, in our families and individuals and in our businesses to be able to respond to this problem. If I'm building a building today that's going to last for 50, 75 years, if I don't build it as green, if I don't build it as efficient, if I don't build it as a healthy place where people come to work, what am I really building for the next 50 to 75 years? We really require a shift in the way we perceive life away from a very consumeristic, materialistic approach into something that's more whole, something that's more long-term, more collaborative, more sustainable, more regenerative. We are all the time overstimulated by our surroundings. So it's an over uh, stimulation of our sensory system and of our nervous system. And our bodies and our minds were really not designed to stand this much amount of information. The first step is really understanding how you can make change in yourself first and then everything after that becomes very simple. For culture and arts to be of any practical use to people, you should look on the bright side, bring people hope. When your mind is clear, when you're not subject to your thoughts and your emotions, but rather you see them as experiences of this life and this existence, you're more calm and you are able to realize how sacred, how precious being here in this moment and in this life is. Our personal projects are, you know, they feed our souls and it gives us hope. But we have to think of the big picture and how some countries, developing countries like ours and vulnerable people will be disproportionately affected by the changes that are, are global changes. The best thing that we can all do is by being here and being a group that can actually make change by getting more people on board and being able to tell your stories. What is most important is for the realization of all these individuals who are present here to start acting and putting this action together so that we will create an impact in redefining our world. It inspires me to be more focused, to be more disciplined with my own, the things I do. We care for the land, we care for the people on the land, and through combining our eight principles, we're creating abundance so everyone gets a fair share. There is an evolution in all of this. There is a change in the world. And we are all part of that right now.